And now the next case. All parties in the matter of Petero versus Price, step forward. 20-year-old Jessica Petero is suing her ex-boyfriend, 21-year-old Patrick Price, for an unpaid electric bill, a loan for a car down payment, and punitive damages for ruining her credit. Miss Petero, the defendant used to be your boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend anymore. You have a laundry list of things that you say represent loans to him, money that he owes you. And Mr. Price says, look, it's time to move on. I don't owe you any money. Whatever we exchanged during our relationship was just that. I bought you, you bought me, I helped you, you helped me. Okay. From when to when were you and Mr. Price an item? We dated from May of 2008 until um, November of 2009. What monies do you allege he owes you? Uh, well, after we broke up in 2009, I moved back in with my parents and had the electric bill that we shared shut off in my name, and he was supposed to put it in his. So you were living together? Yeah. We lived together the entire time, like with my parents and with his parents. And then in June of 2009, we got our own place, and we lived there till November till we broke up. And the electric bill was in my name, and I paid it every month. And then after I moved out, I had it shut off in my name, and he was supposed to put it in his, but he never did. But he promised both me and my stepdad in a phone call that he would pay the remaining balance that was in my name and pay anything that he incurred until he moved out in January of 2010. And? And he never did, and he never told me that he didn't. Did you pay that bill? No, I didn't. Were you living there by yourself? I lived there for probably a month after we broke up. And then you left? Yes. Did you turn off the electricity? Um, it got shut off right after I moved out. Did you pay that month? No, I didn't. Why? Mm, I never got the bill in the first place. Okay. Well, you knew you had a bill. Yes, but she never told me that she called him and had it taken out of her name so I could put it in mine. Yeah, I did. Okay. How much is the electric bill? It was $285.10. Did you pay that bill? Yes, I did. You have proof that you paid the yes. bill? Yes. I'd like to see it. Well, that's one expense, Mr. Price, that I'm prepared to say is yours. Great. What's next? See how easy this is going to be? Yes. 285. After we broke up, we didn't talk for a while, and he dated another girl. And then after they broke up, we started talking again as friends. And he had asked me to borrow some money for a down payment on a car, because he didn't have a car at the time, and he was having trouble getting to work. And it started at $70, and then he actually ended up needing 130 because the down payment was 500 and he only had a bit of it, because he, only, he works a part-time job for minimum wage. In what month did he need this money? October of 2010. And when did you move out of the apartment, sir? Like the beginning of January of 2010. So this was after he didn't pay the electric bill? Yeah, but I didn't find out about the electric bill until February of 2011. Amber never sent me anything saying that it wasn't paid. I had actually went to get a car loan, and I was denied because of it. They had to have sent somebody an electric bill. I, they didn't send me. I even put forwarding addresses in every place that I moved, and I never got anything. Well, that's odd. That's really odd. Post office is usually very good about forwarding mail. I know. I just moved, and I get all the mail. Except the electric bill. Yep. Odd. Very odd. Judge Judy continues in a moment. If you're not a nice person, like Bird is, like I am, you end up being a loser. Did I do that right? Yeah. My granddaughter, Sarah, would love that. <laughs> Closed captioning. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Jessica Petero says ex-boyfriend Patrick Price owes for an electric bill, a loan, and for ruining her credit. Go ahead, so you gave him a down payment on a car. And then he was supposed to pay me back within two weeks, and he couldn't pay me back because instead he had gotten taken to jail for unpaid speeding tickets. He had warrants out for his arrest. And then? So he couldn't pay me back because he had owed the I person. I don't care what because. Go ahead. What's next? When we were together, he had a PayPal account that was hooked up to my e-commerce bank account. When you were together? Yeah. He bought something off eBay, and it was supposed to charge his credit card, but instead he let it charge my bank account. And my account was supposed to be closed at the time, but Commerce failed to tell me that if you have a PayPal account still hooked up to it, it doesn't close the account. So uh, I didn't get anything about it until December of 2010. On Christmas Eve, actually, I got a collection bill from Commerce for $136.97. You weren't notified about the bank? Not until I got that first And you notice. had all these forwarding things done? I never changed that one. It was to my dad's Go ahead. House. Let's hear, Mr. Price. One, two, three. I have other things to do today. Car. Okay, first, I work for a minimum wage job. I barely get paid. I needed a car to get back and forth to work. 
She gave me $130, told her not to worry about well, it. But she had to know that you needed $130. Yes. She How would she know that? Because I told her. What did you say to her? I said, no, no, I'm look getting a car. Here. I told her I was getting a car, and but my check was only this much. And it, I asked her to go if she would take me up there, and she gave me $130. Up where? To get the car. You asked her if she would take you up there to get the car? Yes. You mean drive you? Yes. Okay, so she took you up there to get the car. Yes. And? She told me, she said, because I didn't have enough money, she gave me Well, $130. what did you go up there and get the car for if you didn't have enough money? Because I talked to the guy, it was, he was a friend of mine. He was letting me make payments to him. Yes. So I got up there. Yes. And he said, no, I got to have this much. And I told her, and she said, I'll go to the ATM and I will give you the money. So he said to you, no, that's not the deal that we made. I have to have this much money. And you said what to him? I said, well, I don't have the full amount. So, I'm... so what did you go up there for? I'm not following what you went up there for with this friend. Because I was trying to get CDT Who is this? to take. That's my dad. Why didn't your father take you? Because my dad works. You work 24-7? No, ma'am. Why didn't your dad take you up there when he wasn't working? What'd because, you take her up there for? Because I went up there when my dad was at work. I had nobody to take me up there. Why didn't you go up when your dad wasn't working? Because there was only a certain time I could go up there. Give me your window, Mr. Price. Um, 9 o'clock in the morning to... 9 a.m. 9 a.m. To 5 o'clock p.m. 5 p.m. Because your friend is a... He has his own garage and he sells cars. And this person who sells used cars for a living... You said, could you wait until 6 o'clock so my dad could take me? Because you already had a deal worked out with him, right? Not fully. You are so obnoxious. I can't tell you. You know, you're a nice-looking boy, and you've gotten along probably on your nice looks for a long time. You have to be a nice person in addition to be nice-looking, Mr. Price. Because if you're not a nice person, like Bird is, like I am, you end up being a loser. Did I do that right? Yeah. My granddaughter, Sarah, would love that. <laughs> That's what you end up being, a loser. You take advantage of people, you end up being a big-time loser. Judge Judy can... Want justice? Go to JudgeJudy.com or call 1-888-800-JUDY. Now, Mr. Price, you took advantage of her. She took advantage of me. Well, now we're getting to it because I want to hear how Miss Petero took advantage of you. We lived in our house for five months. I paid the rent, which was $400 a month. I bought groceries, which I spent probably $150 every two weeks. Hey, you must have a good job. She, I thought she, you said you had a I did, I did job. have a good job. I did have a good job. Go ahead. She was supposed to pay the electric bill and the cable bill. We've got the first cable bill. She never paid it. So that's how she took advantage of you, because she didn't well, pay the cable bill? The only thing she paid was what was in her name. Was that your agreement? Yeah, it was. <laughs> so I don't see how she took advantage of you, with the exception of the cable bill that she didn't pay, according to you. Did you pay the cable bill? No, I didn't. Duh. <laughs> and whose name was the cable bill? It was in mine. So it's against your credit. Have you heard from them? No. Not that I can remember. How old are you? 21. So far, he owes you $285 for the electric bill. Yes. What else? Um, I sued for defamation of character because since he didn't pay the electric bill, it went on my credit. And it Forget it. What's next? The cable bill he's talking about, it wasn't his name. And I had told him not to get it because we couldn't afford to pay it. He made $11 an hour. That's why he paid most of the stuff. I made $7.50 an hour working part-time at a restaurant. I paid $200 a month for the truck payment, and I paid the electric bill. To your month. truck? It was in my name, yeah, but he drove it. You have it? No, I had to return it because the transmission went out, and I couldn't afford to fix it. Are you living home with your father now? No, I live by myself. Who pays your rent? I pay my own rent. Do you have cable? No, I don't have cable because I can't Why? afford it. Why? Because it's too... Because I can't afford it. Right. But you have electric. Yeah, I have electric. Great. $285 is what you owe the plaintiff. Judgment for the plaintiff. That's all. Thank you. Parties are excused. You may step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next Judge Judy...
I think I should have got everything because he owed me all of it. I paid for all of it. It's better than $1,000. He was still telling me, oh, we, you know, we can fix things. I still like you. She got mad because I didn't invite her to my 21st birthday party. I wasn't even upset about the party. I had plans that night anyways, so it really didn't bother me. It was just supposed to be me and my friends. I did get upset about it, but that's not the whole reason I sued him. A week later, she tells me she's going to sue me. Actually, right after the party, I find out about all the bills. It was like the next week. I'm going to have to owe her, but... I really don't think I should. Don't trust people. We can just go our separate ways. He's a liar and a loser, like just Judy said. Ordinary won't do? Rally's steal of a deal is for you. Get a rally burger with cheese.